I've actually been avoiding this up to now, cutting myself out of each previous episode as much as possible, partly to keep focus on each artist, but also out of fear. The same fear that myself and many other artists struggle with. Is it good enough? Am I good enough? I feel like most art journeys are about overcoming that fear. As a kid, art was always an escape, a way to be free of all the fear and anxieties of growing up. Eventually, people start to say things like, you should be an artist when you grow up. But honestly, I had no idea what that would be. Like, I thought, I could be an architect or something? Like, they draw, right? It never occurred to me that things like art schools existed, nor could I understand how all of these comic books I read were illustrated by people who did that as their job. Needless to say, I wasn't the sharpest kid. Fortunately, my high school art teacher made sure I knew what my options were. He took my mom and I actually on a tour of the local art school, and my mind was blown wide open. Like From there onward, my focus was to get into art school. That's when the fear comes in. Um, like, Will I get accepted? Am I good enough? It's not all doom and gloom, though. Eventually, I would learn to use that as a tool to learn and grow, though I still forget from time to time. That cycle of fear, anxiety, progress, and then confidence is the core of many art journeys, I think. It's how we grow, and the key is learning to push through the hard parts. Often what pushes you through those difficult stages is inspiration, and for me that most recently came from an unexpected place. My wife and I moved up to Fort St. John for her career, and at the time I was a freelance graphic designer and illustrator. So location wasn't super important for me. Uh, unfortunately, the pandemic happened and that freelance evaporated fairly quickly. So through chance and a desire to get out of the house and not go crazy, I took a job as a curator of the local gallery, Peace Gallery North. It was during my time there that I found a massive fountain of inspiration, meeting all these wonderful local artists and being surrounded by beautiful paintings all day. It rekindled my desire to paint and what better subject to paint than the artists and people that were inspiring me. Lorna is the most positive and productive person I have ever met. On top of her artwork, she brought amazing handmade jams to the gift shop in the gallery, worked with the local community living program. She taught art and helped me navigate the local art scene, answering all the questions I had as I got you know, to know everyone. It's always weird being the new person to a town where everybody already knows each other. Haley showed me what you could do for a career as a fine artist. Her artwork combined with her community involvement and her super calm personality showed me how it should be done. Like, Even more impressively, she was only a couple years out of art school, which just blew my mind. Like, Her composure and her whole attitude was, was years beyond her age. Sandy Trout is probably responsible for inspiring half of the artists in the region. Uh, her colorful impressionist landscapes evoke such a magical, saturated vision of the local area, and that combined with her like insanely welcoming and friendly personality make her the artist I associate most with Fort St. John and the stunning landscape around us. It's like you can't help but connect the two once you see her work. Sam is bold. She's bold in color choices, she's bold in subject matter, and even her own appearance. Sam and her work pushed me to be more bold in my own. Being only 21 years old, the possibilities for where her work goes are so endless, and that makes me want to try harder, even though I'm much, much older already, but you can't help but feel inspired and like anything is possible. Liam and Nazaria Richards are two of the most creative people I've ever met. It just comes naturally to them to try things. That combined with such supportive family, which just is unreal. Their enthusiasm and desire to learn make me so excited to see what they and other young artists create in the future. 
I've never seen anyone as motivated as those two are. Owen has such natural vision, effortlessly capturing a soft, magical feeling with his photos. His work captures the personality of the subject, but also shares his personality. It makes me want to put that much personality into my own work. Don Pettit is the personification of passion. It's the foundation of everything he does, from photography to his environmental work. He can't do anything without putting all of himself into it. His community involvement is endlessly inspirational to myself and to other local artists. Everyone knows Don. I'm constantly amazed by how many connections lead back to him. Carl and I go way back. I met him and several other local guys while studying at Alberta College of Art and Design. Without Carl, I can say that my time in college would have gone way differently. We were constantly pushing each other and trying to one-up each other and just having fun while also being there when things kind of got hard and stressful. It's one of those strange coincidences, though, that I ended up living where he's from later in life. So now we can basically keep on pretending like we're still in college just with, you know, our families along for the ride. So that brings us back to me. Uh, where I go from here, I'm not too sure, but it will definitely involve paint and I know I won't lack inspiration.